in another channel, the YouTube channel. It's not public, so oh. if you go onto it, it looks like it's empty. I don't even know how many videos are, there are probably about 100, hmm. which you'll only have access when you have admin rights or when you go to EasySpeak and you're a paid member and you have access rights on EasySpeak and you go to the calendar, well, to the meeting right. that we've had, because then you will see the link and you'll be able to go to the particular meeting, dating back to 2012 when I was the president and I bought our multimedia equipment. So the records of our club go the digital records so you know we discussed will we record this meeting or not and as an election i didn't really think it was appropriate and here i am sitting with my with my camera because with my phone i just can't i can't leave it <laughs> however in terms of continuity and progression and if somebody benjamin or anybody else is interested i'm very very happy to support i was already named and when I see all of the the media that we do share here at the VIC I'm quite proud as a retiree to to have to be able to say that I've made that contribution setting up the the YouTube channel the web page and supporting the club in easy speak and so please don't forget to put my name in there in the new committee so that I've got all the access rights that I need mm -hmm. to fix up anything else that might come up in the next few weeks as we transit from the 2021-22 committee to 22-23. It's been an honour serving the VIC. I'm in a mentoring program as <coughs> a career coach for people who want a job at the UN. So I found it extreme. We were talking before about that confidence and having speaking up about who am I really and am I good enough and it was my mentor that suggested this role to me I said no no we don't UN is not a career path UN is not a career path we've had lots of meetings with, with HR and other areas UN is not a career path however I'm so grateful to have been able to contribute to this club to be working at the United Nations and there are certain values that I uphold that are included in the confidentiality statement and in the in the visions and statements of the various United Nations family organisations. So in my mentoring program, I'm looking for people who share those values. And I really see I have a mission to get out there and bring those people into the UN. So in terms of the Facebook page, it hasn't been very active because within our club membership, there haven't been people who wanted to be public, the club was not public. However, if you have a passion, the, the retirees have a page. The former VIC staff members have a Facebook group and there's quite active communication there. Even people who, who didn't retire from the VIC but were working here for a time are communicating within that Facebook group. So I see opportunities of social networking whether it's Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, anything else. I see that this Toastmasters is a platform where we can really learn so much. We can learn to communicate. I'm learning to sell myself. I'm telling you my story. I'm going to post this somewhere. <laughs> you might see it on LinkedIn tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support. Thank you that I can serve you. And I'm keen and eager to encourage and support anybody else who wants to. As the the UNFCU account says, serving the people who serve the world. Thank you for serving the world and I'm very happy that I can serve you. <laughs>